Right everyone, Web Collector here. I thought I'd do a new video, HD video, on my Chinese Model 86S bullpup rifle. I've done videos on this before, but never on a decent camera, so I'm going to do a, another full sort of review and just talk about it and uh, yeah, and it'll be in HD and better quality. So what I'm going to do is show you it like this. So you can just see how it would be to hold it. Talk about it like this. And then I'll do a proper tabletop review so you can see it close up. So this is the Chinese Model 86S. And it's basically a modified AK-47. Uh, as far as I'm aware, there was only around about 2,000 either made or 2,000 imported to the US. And then they were banned. Uh... There is a reason for that. It was some kind of violent crime axe that they brought in. So, like I said, this is deactivated, which means it doesn't shoot in case you don't know that. And um, here is the deactivation certificate for this gun. You can see the details down there. So, basically, what this is, it's a. was a working firearm that most of the internals have been took out. Um, the barrels have been blocked up, had slots cut into the barrel, stuff like that. But it's all hidden. Barrel welded in so you can't change them. But yeah, it's definitely a nice collector piece. I won't bother too much about um, gun safety because this isn't going to shoot. It's a prop, you know. I can cock it and pull the trigger. Nothing's going to happen. But um, normally I wouldn't do that, but I just thought I'd mention, you know, if you see bad gun safety, that's why, because this isn't going to shoot. So, you can get a bayonet for these. This is the bayonet, which is a standard sort of AK-47 AKM bayonet. It's got a little button there that you press. That I had to buy extra. Um... So, I'll see if I can show you down the sights. I'll show you that close up later, but yeah. So this is how you'd hold the gun. And you can tell it's a nice sort of, it's very comfortable. I, think, I reckon this would be a very nice gun to shoot. It's about 7.9 pounds or 3.6 kilograms. But reasonably heavy, but that's because it's, you know, majority of it's steel, you know, pressed steel. But, uh yeah it seems like a very comfortable gun comes with a sling i haven't got the sling on it at the minute there's one of the sling mounts there and i can't remember where it connects to at the front i'll put that back on there's the coffin lever doesn't do anything on this doesn't cock it or anything just pulls back a spring. The trigger doesn't do anything. The selector switch to change it from safety to fire doesn't do anything. Uh, the magazine you can take out. And I've got some inner bullets in there. You can put different magazines on this if you've got them. You can have a 10 shot, 20 shot, 30 shot, or even like a box magazine. Under here, is a cleaning kit but yeah overall very nice rifle really i like it a lot uh effective range is about 300 meters semi-automatic only um but yeah very nice this this little switch here when you turn it does 100 200 and 300 meters yeah so I'll tell you what I'll do now. Now I've sort of shown you it, me sort of holding it so you can see what it would look like. I'll do a sort of tabletop review now. Show you it in the box, what you'd get if you bought it and all that. And um, yeah, a bit more, bit more close up detail. Right, so this is the gun as you'd get it in the box when you bought it. I bought mine from Worldwide Arms Limited, quite a few years ago. This is a 2007 edition catalog of theirs. And there is the Chinese model 86S bullpup rifle. 
£195 plus £10 postage and packaging and for some reason even though the box has got a compartment for the bayonet I didn't get the bayonet with it you had to buy the bayonet separately so I reckon it should have been with it but they like to sell it separately still I don't think that was too much of a bad deal so there it is there like I said this is how you get it in a cardboard box with a polystyrene compartments you get two magazines oil bottle you don't get the bayonet with it but I bought the bayonet you get this sling and there should be a little leather attachment piece but I'm using that for something at the minute and then obviously the gun itself so I will now take the gun out put it on a table and show you it in detail right there is the gun and some of the parts to it there's the bayonet I'll show you the bayonet close up it's a standard sort of AK-47 AKM bayonet non-sharpened plastic or sort of baker like style handle I'd say it'd be plastic the era this was made so uh, yeah very nice seems very sturdy Cliff has the sort of switch to hold it on is very strong and that just slots on this handle is spring loaded and can be either folded up like that or you just pull it down and out and then it locks that locks so it locks up or down and you slide that ring over the barrel and onto this little bit here so that's that locked on I'll put the cover back on that just to be safe and then the magazine there it is with some inner 7.62 millimeter bullets in it just clips in the back like that and there is the switch for that you just press it forward get them out like that so I'll take the bayonet off because then the gun is slightly shorter. So you've got this sort of handle here similar to sort of M16 which is a carry handle but also contains the parts to the sights which I'll show you a view down a bit later. So there's the back sight there, the pin front sight's there that is fully adjustable and so is the back and like I said there's the switch that when you turn it says 4, 5 and 6 but it says on the info that it's 100 metres, 200 metres and 300 metres so this was semi-automatic like I said and I think that's all it is so it's just safety and fire like I said before the effective range is about 300 metres so this gun overall is 67 centimetres long and it has a 44 centimetre barrel. The bolt and the, the mechanism is a it's gas operated rotating bolt and most of the major parts can be swapped around with any standard Kalashnikov rifles. And when you look at it you can see if you look at the receiver this part if you ignore that there, you can see that is an AK-47. So, as I said, this is deactivated, so the trigger does nothing on this. The clocking mechanism does nothing as well, but you can at least pull it back. So, to get into the receiver, press this sort of button in here. I'll try to do this because it's quite stiff on this. There we go. So now you can see inside, let's see if I can get this to come out. You can see the insides there all cut up and welded in. This is deactivated to the recent, there's been some recent law changes so this isn't up this is the good standard if you know what I mean but not up to the the 
newest standard but all that means is this gun is now not possible to be able to be sold but um i would probably never sell this anyway so it doesn't really bother me but that's that back in so these will take a 10 shot magazine a 30 shot ma uh, 10 20 30 shot magazine even a drum magazine I don't know what that would be like because obviously with a drum magazine on your arm is going to be here with a drum magazine there it's going to be pushing your arm up but yeah it does seem like a very nice gun I reckon these would be very nice to shoot don't know what the reliability of them is like but if it was a good shooting gun I reckon it would be nice so it's all steel construction some of the parts that you can take off of this is the upper receiver there you can take the magazines out there's a part of the cleaning rod here that comes out that and down here is a cleaning kit right so in there is the parts to the cleaning kit so you just turn that a little bit stiff it's not been open for ages probably years but in there is I think a extractor um, cleaning brushing and a couple of other tools I'm not 100 sure what's in there to be honest but, but that goes in there and then that just slots in back there just there yeah, overall very nice gun really for the price. I'm not sure if they still do them for the same price as when I bought this. Around about 200 quid. But um, well worth getting I think. Especially if there was only 2,000 made. That means there's not a lot, there's not a lot of them, you know yeah that is it that is the Chinese model 86s ballpark rifle made by Norinco for China in the 1980s very nice gun well worth getting I think Just stick the bayonet back on yeah very nice display piece I've got this on the center of my gun display Yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found this interesting and possibly helpful if you're interested in one of these. And uh, I'll see you later. Right, before you leave, if you ever wanted to support this channel, you can now via Patreon or by shopping at Amazon.com and Gearburst. There's more info below if you need that. Remember, if you want to get full notifications for this channel, click the bell. And uh, I'll see you later. Cheers.